The year is 2030, and the U.S. is venturing on its first trip to Mars. Over 60 years separates its first moon mission to this manned mission to Mars. The Ares rocket, descendant of the Saturn rocket that propelled astronauts to the moon, carries its crew. It will take nine months to reach Mars. As it ascends over the surface of the Earth, the rocket goes in a curved orbit that is parabolic in shape. A parabola is known as a conic section. There are four conic sections, the circle, the ellipse, the parabola, and the hyperbola. Scientists rely on these curves when launching rockets into space. This trip to Mars allows us to investigate these conic sections. The rocket is moving horizontally at a speed of 450 meters per second. Its equation of motion is x of t equals 450 t. Vertically, the rocket starts with an initial speed of 2700 meters per second, but it slows down with a constant acceleration. The equation of motion in the vertical direction is y of t equals 2700t minus 4.9t squared. Input these equations into the appropriate fields. Input the equation for x of t and press the down arrow to move to the y of t field. Then input the equation for y of t and press the down arrow to move to the field for setting the range for t. We want the graph for the first 10 minutes of the flight or 600 seconds. Change the value to the right of t to 600. Press the clear key to remove the previous value and replace it with 600. Then press enter. Press Ctrl and G to remove the equation entry area. To see all of the graph, press Menu, 4, and A to choose the Zoom Fit option. Now you can see the whole graph, and you can now see that this parametric graph is a parabola. Notice that this graph passes the vertical line test, so it is a function. But not all parabolas are functions. This parametric graph, while still a parabola, does not pass the vertical line test. And this is why conic sections are known as quadratic relations. Returning to the path of the rocket, place a point on the graph and follow its trajectory. Press Menu, 6, and 2 to activate the Point tool. Use the nav pad to move the pointer so that it is on the parabola. Press enter. Then press escape. Notice that a point is on the parabola with the coordinates displayed. Now make sure the pointer is above the point. The pointer should change to an open hand. Press and hold the click key till the pointer changes to a closed hand. Use the right arrow to move the point along the graph. Notice how the coordinates change. When the point reaches a Y coordinate of around 370,000 meters or 370 kilometers, it reaches the altitude of the International Space Station, which is the first stop on the trip to Mars. Since this is the only portion of the parabola that we need, you can shorten its length. Press Tab to bring back the equation entry area and press the up and down arrows as needed to get to the range of t-values. Recall that you had set this to 600. Press the clear button to replace it with a value such that the parabola ends at the point corresponding to the point you added to the parabola. Try to get your screen to look like this. Press Ctrl G when you are done to hide the equation entry area. So, the next stop is the International Space Station.